Hey guys, welcome to the March 2020 edition of Smash the Crate, where me and my mom try every product in this month's Keto Crate. If you want to look at my Keto Crate unboxing video, you can see it there on my mama's face. But for now, we are going to hop in and try every product in this month's Keto Crate. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. So as you know, we start with the products that like mostly savory to sweet. That's how we go. Right. We have a four tier scale. We'll get into that. Um, but the first product that I want to mention that we're not going to try is this Kiss My Keto uh, chocolate bar with pumpkin seeds and sea salt. I was very excited to see this in the Keto Crate but I was then quickly not excited to see that it was actually open. It arrived to open. It was it clearly, crumbled. yeah, it's crumbled. It was clearly damaged before. I can't even say damaged in transit. It there was damaged before, before it was, it was in it, box, Yeah, it got put yeah. in this box. So like I'm calling Keto Crate and I'm getting me a Kiss My Keto chocolate bar, but we're just not gonna be able to try this one. I really feel like I would have liked it, but I mean, this one gets a tier zero because I'm not even gonna eat we're it. We're not doing it. I know, the next thing we're gonna try or the first thing we're gonna oh, no. try, I guess, is this IQ bar peanut butter chip. I've had IQ bars before. I like them. Yeah. You know, a bar is a bar is a bar. You know well, what I'm saying? So, almost. No. Yeah. I mean, well, there there have been some yeah. some bad bars. Oh, this one I like this one though. It kind of you can clearly see the chocolate chips. You can clearly see it's kind of like one of those granola chocolate bars. So that's exciting. Mm, mm, it smells nose all over my sample. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. Okay, take that. Thank you. Okay, it's like sticky, like a lot of things are. Okay. Mm, babe. Oh. I mean, okay, I really good. Flavor's okay. I really like the texture. It really has chewy. Mm hmm. It has like an oatmeal y type texture yeah, that is true. And, uh, and then the crunch from the chocolate chips. I mean, I really like that. I give that a tier two. If I'm receiving that for free, I am happy about it. Yeah, I'm happy about keeping it where that. It. Don't really know if I taste a lot of peanut butter. Like, you know, it wasn't, uh, yeah. So the, yeah. It was, the flavor wasn't powerful. It was a subtle peanut butter. Flavor. Yeah, but I did, and I didn't taste the chocolate chip at all, but I felt the crunch of the chocolate chip. That okay, which was like, I don't know why we started with that. That was good, don't get me wrong, but I clearly said we start savory to sweet and I jumped right into sweet, so. It's time for the pecans. Yeah, for the pecans, okay? Comment down below. Don't even comment down below, okay? No. I don't wanna hear you so the right say that it's pecan. So way. like it's, it, you know, to each their own, all right? I say pecans, deal. These just look like oh. sea salt pecans, like I am. Excited about it. Yes, let's do I mean, this. covered in salt. They're okay. huge. Yeah. That's what she said. Nice. Got okay. It. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. mm. I would have said these nuts are huge, but mm. they're delish. Salty. Crunchy. Mm-hmm. It's just pecans and salt, you guys. That's all it is. Yeah. Pecans and salt. You don't need to eat. Put these weird flavors on your nuts. Right. Just give us nuts and salt, or like a sugar coating. But like all the other flavors, they don't. They, your right. nuts don't need to taste like them. Definitely, she said that. Oh. <laughs> I just heard it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but that's delicious. Those are delicious. Yeah, that's delicious. Wow. That no, that's a tier one. Yes. I'm I'm finding these. Yes. Like if I see these in Whole Foods somewhere, bought. Yes. Like those are delicious. Tier one. Yeah, I'm buying those with my own money. Okay. Ooh, I'm also yes. excited about Maybe. these porking goods, uh, nacho cheddar pork rinds. Oh, good thing. Yeah. See, yeah. that's why I asked for the scissors because I was like, Lord knows, I'm not gonna know how to open this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Sip. Gotta do a sip. Mm -hmm. What's in your red solo cup? No. Oh, mm -mm. sorry. No. Nacho cheese. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's fine. Oh, excuse me. Look. We got two. Please count it. Oh, excuse me. Oh my God. I, I, these don't taste like nacho cheddar, in my opinion. They yeah. just taste like pork rinds. They're not bad at all. But. I'm with it. I'm not seeking these out to buy these. Well, they have a flavor, but no. it's not nacho cheddar. Yeah, I mean, I maybe, it's, know. maybe it's just hint of cheese, but it's not nacho okay. cheddar. Mm. No. Man, the crunch is there. No, no, I mean, the pork rind taste is there, and it's yeah. good. Yeah. It's just not nacho cheese. Okay, next we are on to Ooh. cello 
wisps. Yeah. These are Parmesan cheese crisps. I know I love these. These are definite tier ones. I would buy these. I do buy these currently. I'm yes. talking about Not as part of my well. current everyday diet. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm eating food these days, I'm eating Cello Wisps. Mm. No. Mm. 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 Crunchy, cheesy. Yeah. It's there. But, mm. These are so good. You can find them like anywhere. I get mine from Costco, Walmart, Meyer. Yeah, I get mine from Walmart. Mm -hmm. Now the thing about Cello Wisps, they have a bunch of different flavors like barbecue pizza yeah, and like rosemary, those. blah, blah, blah. But like just the regular Parmesan and cheddar cheese ones are, are my favorite. Mine as well. Yeah, mm, so good. Yes. Okay, back to sweets. Yeah. Okay. This uh, Lenny and Larry Ooh, keto yeah. cookie. Yes, I can't yeah, wait. We've for never, that. yeah, never tried this before. I never heard of Lenny or <laughs> and or Larry. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It looks flattened, like maybe I don't know. You see how all the chocolate chips are just like flattened mm -hmm. onto the top there? Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks good. Let's do it. Mm. It's a mouthful, but I like it. Too easy. It was. Oh my God. That <laughs> is what she said. I like it. I mean, I like it. I don't however. think it tastes like a chocolate chip right. cookie. Right. That's what I'm going to say. It doesn't taste There's like... something in there that's making it taste like something. That's why I'm talking about. I don't know cookie. what the something is, mm -hmm. though. I give that tier two probably just because of the ingredients. Now, the good thing is, Lenny and Larry, they're also in all the stores, you know? No, oh, okay, cool. They're easy Meyer, to find. Meyer, Target, that, GNC. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're there. Thank you, gentlemen. So, you know, like that would be good. Tier two, if I'm seeing that out, maybe, you know, next to a Quest bar or Quest cookie and it's on sale, uh -huh. maybe I'll get that one, you yeah, know? So, well. it was, yeah, it was good. Next. Okay, next we're trying this Ketology Keto Bar Chocolate yes. Almond Butter. Um, I loved this from KetoCon Ooh, when I last had it. Yeah, I said, right. it looks, it looks, you remember, it looks like one of those little Debbie's, like, brownies. Yes, it does. That, doesn't it? Like, it looks, you know, mm -hmm. like a without little Debbie's. sprinkles. It, and without the little line, the domino yeah. line in the middle. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not soft by any means. It's, like, hard and crumbly, so it's not like little Debbie's in that respect. Are but, we, like. We don't eat this big No, we're just going to take a bite off oh, of it. Oh, spin the same. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh. Not there yet. Once I get, this is what she said. No, no. What? <laughs> this video. Yeah. Is a take a drink every time. Yeah, every time we hear. That's what she said. Mm. I taste the chocolate. I love it. There's almond in there. I love it. Thank These you. are tier like one and a half. So I would say the creature of habit in me gives this a tier two. Like, oh, if I got it for free, I would love it. But like taste and my personal preference wise, it's a tier one. I really do like this and would purchase Very it. Very nice. Next we got our fat bar. We got our fat bar. fat bar. Made in the UK, caramel and sea salt, two grams of net carbs. Mm -hmm. I think we got a peanut butter version of this in a previous keto crate and I really liked it. So hopefully the caramel and sea salt is good too. Oh, this is a weird oh, no, looking look bar. That. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. This is odd. This is like shiny. No, no, I don't, I'm not, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of the consistency of like a Laffy Taffy. Oh. Like. Okay, I see how this is bendy. But yeah, like, yeah, like bendy and shiny. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really weird. Mm. Oh, mm. okay, Shake take that. Shake that Laffy Taffy. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like sticky. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah, you take that. I mean, oh, to be honest, is. okay. I love the chewy texture. Mm -hmm. Like, I just love the chew of this thing, but I can taste it now. So she's out. I mean, this is good. Definitely tier two. Hmm. I'm not going out of my way to have these shipped over from the United Kingdom. Okay. So but, dramatic shift over. But I would enjoy these if I got it for free. Okay. Penultimately, we are trying these ketosis cups. Almond espresso. Like, I've never heard of these. The packaging is so interesting. It is a box. It almost is like a box that has vanilla extract in it. it exactly. It's like an extract box. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, oh, look at the little look packaging. 
I mean, so this is like very, I don't want to say homemade, but you know, just like, I feel like, not amateur, what's the word I'm looking for? Like small batch, small scale mom sort pop. of. Mom and pop. That's what I'm looking at here. Now, the one thing that I don't appreciate is that each serving size is one cup. So if each serving size is one cup, I feel like they should come individually packaged, you know, because I have to open this to get to one what? of the servings. And so here my other one goes just all sitting in the like air and everything. Really yeah, everything, everything like that. Like these should be oh. individually packaged if each of them is its own individual portion. But these honestly look a really good size yes, since, you know, one is a serving of 150 calories. So this is like a little fat bomb, I'm sure. Yeah, like see, look at that. Look at the angle at which that's cut. And then look how much space is left over after the, the seal. Maybe like, Junior and Ethel come in after school. You yeah. get in here, we got exactly. packaging today. Yeah, like, yeah. Once again, I am loving the, you know, just anything that reminds me of a Reese's, like, oh, remotely. Exactly. So, like, it's this true. paper, even peeling the paper off the little ridges like this, I am really loving that experience already. I mean, this is a thick, dense bar. I don't know if I'm going to be able you to. You want me to just try this one? Yeah, you just try. You know what? I'm just open to try the other So one. this doesn't sit all yeah, really and really and out and flail out in the open area. Yeah, you're right. Here, so I'll give you a chance to peel yours away. Rip. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful though. That, yeah, it sticks. Okay. All right, let's see what this is all about. Go for it. Okay. Mm. What you're tasting is the espresso. It's very espresso-y. Consistency's not bad. It's good enough. I mean, you know, no excitement here. You know, uh -uh. just... I honestly feel like I could make this at home. I mean, it looks really good. I feel like I can make it at home. Yeah, I mean, it's a tier three for me. If I receive this, I'm gonna keep it, but it's not gonna be the thing that I'm like hunting for in my snack box, you know? All right, finally, we've saved the best for last in the uh, words of Vanessa Williams. Chalk Zero Milk Chocolate Pecan Keto Bark. Oh my gosh, this oh, is just... Hammer gonna be so good look at the size of these things that's oh, what she said <laughs> i know i heard it that time i mean this is just expert branding Ex yeah expert I mean, packaging i mean bro. these are professionals bro. and this product's been to taste professional oh, so just look at this look at yeah. it it's perfection now granted perfection. mine is like a little messed up but i'm i'm blaming keto crate for that i'm not even blaming chuck zero so but like look at the emboss you know no, the molding I yeah i mean it's just so beautiful okay yes. taking a taking a bite of that i'm going for it Tastes like chocolate and pecan. I mean, the consistency of the chocolate. I mean, it's like a Hershey bar, you know? And it's, it's the fiber that moves it out like that. But it's so good. Tier one, like, well, pay your own money, man. I mean, everything. I mean, packaging. Yeah. Just pros right here. Yeah. Pros. Woo! Yeah! Kabam. Oh yeah, I knew. I saved that for last. I was like, I knew we gonna love this. Now, not only do I love this, but I love the fact that Choc Zero has so many different products. They have dark chocolate. They have light chocolate. They have chocolate bark with pecans. They have chocolate bark with almonds. They have chocolate bark with macadamia nuts, you know? Oh, okay. They got dark chocolate chips, milk chocolate chips, white chocolate chips. Like, during the holiday season, they come out with, like, peppermint chips. You know, like, oh, so yes. many oh, different products, you know? Chalk Zero is a winner. And overall, this Keto Crate was a winner. I'm yes. going to say, clear winners, Chalk Zero. These pecans yes, were nice. delicious. So um, nice. You know, we already knew that the Cello Wisps were going to be good. Um, the Lenny and Larry's cookie was okay. Yeah, I'm glad okay. that I got to try that. Because, you know, I see that in the store. Like, when I'm, you know, looking in the Quest Bar mm -hmm. section. I'm like, are those cookies really good, though? I'm like, yeah, they're, they're actually okay. an idea. Mm -hmm. Everything else... That fat bar, the IQ bar, it's just like, oh, you know what, good enough. I mean, once again, I'm glad I got to try it. Really I am never, well. like, sad that I'm like, oh, man, I really wish I would have never had that. You know, like, the fact that the Keto Crate just delivers you products that you can Keto try. Keto Crate, you rock. I know, right? Oh, yeah, these, even though I turned out not to really like these, glad I tried them. Yes. Out, you know, which of these products would you like to try? Also, oh, I forgot, like, we're drawing a winner for the... 
No, Smash the grapes. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you, somebody right now yeah. is finna win your very own March Keto Crate, and that person is. Oh my God! Congratulations! You I can't won. believe you won. You Send me an email to watchautumnketo at gmail .com and I will get this mailed to you. Have you had any of these products? Which do you like the best? And I mean, come on. Have you had this Kiss My Keto Bar? Clearly I'm not going to have it for a while because they need to ship it to me in the mail. Somebody let me know how this tastes down in the comments. Yes, please. I know, right? Oh, such high hopes. Well, thank you guys for watching the Smash the Crate of March series. If you like it, please subscribe to her channel, Watch Autumn Keto. She makes what she eat Wednesdays, Smash the Crate videos, Keto Crate unboxing videos in all sorts of things and stuff and all sorts of things and stuff yes. you guys i mean clearly my mom knows what i make better than i do that's what moms are for to know you better than you know yourself yes. okay until next month's uh, unboxing which let's be honest we'll probably be out in a week because we're, we're like at the end of march and the april box is going to be here before we know it but like thanks for watching Thank and we'll see you next month bye, bye.